Like, God, it looks so fucking funny when you so can see it now. she sees Freddy and freaks out. She hasn't seen shit yet. Yeah. Um, here's the thing, and this is why I really wish she had the scene where she'd been chased by Freddy, because she starts because Alice pops up, starts talking to Alice, and then they go in to try and find uh, Rick, and then she goes in and then sees the empty desk of Joe and Kincaid, because she's not sure how things are going, because she can't find Joe and Kincaid, and then yeah. she's like, the desks are empty, they're not there, and she goes immediately like, oh, th- he killed them. Based on what? How do you know? And then she gets thrown into the wall and apparently it knocks her the fuck out. Cut to she's in a nurse's office. It's Robert England in a dress. Yep. I mean, I don't know how else to put Looking it. Looking a lot like uh, when Ernest dresses like the old woman. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. He's got a little bit of that going on. And then, like, it's a whole thing. And then she's like, oh, you had quite a nasty bump. Turns around, <laughs> fucking pulls her arms, blood. And then Freddy's just like... Ah, it's me, kind of thing, and you know, I want to <laughs> pretty much. Rah, it's me. I, I mean, in all fairness, he kind of does do that, and then he, he says, and he says, "I want to, I want to draw some blood." Yeah, and he's got a syringe in his hand because that's what you do. And she wakes up again, and it's a much smaller woman in, yeah. a, in a nurse outfit, and says the exact same thing. Well, you know, it's not the same, Kristen, because when she what, what she freaks out about mm-hmm. that leads her to knock out isn't what. Patricia Arquette was doing where she's like ninja yeah! kick time yeah screaming and ninja kick time no no Tuesday night she's like no no no, no. away from yeah. boom hits her head yeah. KO yeah. <laughs> not like the other one who would scream her lungs out and then ninja kick people um, it's that motherfucker I mean she's dating Rick don't you think he would have taught her some ninja by now uh which I think Rick teaches, teaches Alice he tries to yeah we sort of skipped the scene where he tries to teach Alice but Alice is clearly awkward we're foreshadowing again yeah where he's like, oh, no, you, if, you know, she says, if mom were still alive, a little bit of backstory, like, if mom were still alive, he wouldn't treat us like this. And he's like, well, you got to fucking have some confidence. And he does, like, the karate kid kick. And she's like, you can do this. And she goes, no, I can't. And then they, she's like, oh, do this. And she does a terrible version of it. And then you can clearly see her attempting, making sure her shoe is ready. Um, if you watch that scene, you can see her, like, fucking shimmying. I'm like, ah, this is her taking her shoe off. And then she flings and kicks the shoe into her fish tank. Swish. Hilarity. Uh, so Kristen, This Alice, is when Kristen burst Rick. through the fucking, the, the diner doors where Alice and Debbie work. Um, and this is where, like, again, Sheila doesn't seem to give a shit about her friends. No. And, uh, they, you know, Dan was looking for Rick and he finally talks to Alice and Alice swoons. But it's Debbie's turn to work. Apparently Alice isn't working even though she's still working. But it's cool. And they all go to Freddy. The they Freddy go to house. Freddy. They go to the Freddy house, which is all boarded up and looking all fucked up, like it did in the third one. Because like, I but... think she was trying to confirm up at this point, like, okay, is he back? Is no, it this is just house? her explaining shit. Yeah. It, there's no reason to go there because the first thing you see is Dan going, "Why the haunted house?" Yeah, and you're like, "Yeah, why the fuck are you there?" Which, again, you think people in the town would know the story of Elm Street? They do. Um, what you don't see in this is. Dan goes, that's an urban legend. Oh, okay. And he's like, no, it's real. So, it's weird when when Rick takes him over and explains everything, and, you know, Dan clearly doesn't believe any of it. And this is where Alice mentions the Master of Dreams, and she remembers the, li- the, the rhyme, which is, how do you forget it? It's just the, now I lay me down to sleep. Instead of saying the Lord, it's Master of Dreams. It's the same fucking thing. Because it's a movie. Until the end of, in the reflection of my mind's eye, evil will see itself and it shall die. But that's foreshadowing for later. So, honk, honk. It's Kristen's mom, and yeah, she's still she's a bitch. She's back. She's still a bitch, and she's still saying Andale. Get the fuck away from that house! Get away from that house! Andale, Andale. And they do the worst pass of a cigarette I've ever seen in my life. Your mom knows you smoke at this point if this is your move. Mm-hmm. She tries to hand it to her, and like, hands it to her in fucking clear view of her mom, hands it to Alice, so that she doesn't catch her smoking. But she clearly does, because apparently her mom is a flying moron, otherwise she wouldn't know. Well, we go back to the house. Yeah. And she makes some food. Yeah, she's like, here, have some. And her mom is an idiot. Because she's just like, what, something wrong with the food? Well, let me. I'll tell you, mom, if you, two of your friends die in the same day, let me tell you what it does to your appetite. Oh, you're just tired. Bitch! Now she drinks, and she looks down and sees cloudy water. And I'm like, you should have well, noticed the cloudy water before you took a sip. In the script, it's lemonade. Okay. In the movie, it's fucking water that's cloudy. I don't know what to tell you. 
Just like, Mom, you should have let the tap run a little longer if you're going to... Or give her lemonade, <laughs> something that is cloudy, so you're not just giving her water. Although, again, both of you are blind, because you didn't see her passing the cigarette, and you didn't see her doing this. So she freaks out. So she's basically like, you just killed yeah. me, Mom, she's so I like, hope you could yeah, just live with just, that. Just, you know, take that to your goddamn therapy. Like, I'm dead now. And now, have you ever taken sleeping pills? Yeah. But does it no, work like, no. she's like going up the stairs like, oh, no. no. Oh, no. No. Oh, no. That's, that's Quaaludes as described in that Leo DiCaprio movie. Like, Because <laughs> I'm like, sleeping pills do not no, work. No, they quickly. don't work like that, and they don't work like that anyway. It just makes you kind of drowsy. It doesn't make you... I mean, <laughs> unless she gave her the bottle of sleeping pills, which she didn't because she dumped a lot of them out of her purse, so... I don't know, other than we got we got shit to do here. We gotta so get she's this looking through. for the phone. Like, I yeah, she's like, I gotta Alice. call Alice. I just, well, apparently she can't fucking dial it. Although the smart move for me would have been call 911. Yeah. Because you know you're going to be attacked. Call 911. The cops will show up. And then by that point, considering that, you know, it's just a simple call like that, they might take a minute. You'll be fine. So she's trying to dream, I guess, a good dream. She basically, Alice told her later, like, you know, here's how you control it is, you know, dream someplace fun. So she does. She goes, dream someplace fun, dream someplace fun, and she wakes up at the beach. I'm like, don't you know that you're fucked? Like, whatever. But she looks over, same little girl, building a sandcastle. The house, it's the fucking house of Freddy. So she should have immediately seen something's fucked up. Yep. But she's like, all right, that's cool. And then lies down to take a fucking siesta. You're and a then... fucking moron. And then Jaws shows up. <laughs> doo-doo. <laughs> doo-doo. Doo-doo-doo-doo-doo. You get a, f- a shark fin that is Freddy's glove. I love this shit. And it flies through the fucking the water and then starts flying through land. And then goes into the house and it explodes and Freddy's standing there. Rah! Ta-da! Yeah. And... This Freddy is... Krueger, mind freak. <laughs> <laughs> and this is when Kristen's like, oh shit, maybe I should run. Which you should have thought of Good before. Call. Yeah. Good call. You think? I love he puts on sunglasses. Like yeah. he's fucking Spuds McKenzie or something. Again, this is the epitome of Freddy's just Freddy now. Like this is the world we live in. So, so Freddy's she... got the glasses on. She goes through. Well, she, she falls into quicksand. quicksand. Mm. And Freddy walks over laughing. And then just pushes on her head because, you know, asshole. And she falls through onto the ceiling of in the house of the Nightmare House. And... Then she ends up in the boiler room because you're in the Freddy house and that's where you end up. Yep. Then Freddy po- Freddy pops up. He's like, hey, what's up? And she's like, hey, you're the last one. Why don't you call one of your friends so I can kill people? And she's like, no, I'll never do that. And he's like, yes, you should. And she's like, no, I won't. And she does. She calls Alice. Yes, you should. You know what, You know Freddy? what, you're right. You make a good point. Hey, Alice! Alice. <sighs> Who the fuck is Alice? And then she comes in going, what the, f- what like, the fuck she's, am I? D- she's out of it. She's in a, like a dream state. And then, of course, Freddy being Freddy is just like, Alice, come to daddy. <laughs> and then uh, Kristen walks over and smacks her. Like, wake up. Like, and then, and then, wake then, the uh, <laughs> Alice wakes up and just goes, what the fuck? And she goes, I'm sorry, I brought you in. Yeah, why'd you do that? Who the fuck did I get? Yeah, what's that thing? Who are you? You're not my nurse. Mm. So Freddie grabs her. Fre- Kristen, forgetting all of her, you know, yeah, flippy where was dippy that training. Kung fu shit that yeah. you were doing in the third movie. Forgot that goes, all her flippy dippy training. She just gets thrown and just into the runs boiler. at Freddie like that's gonna work. He I'm throws just going her with into crazy the water. <laughs> yeah, he throws her into the fire water, and she's just like, "Well, I'm burning," and just like Alice, you'll need my powers. So she throws. Because we're seeing, he literally says, the souls are my children again, and rips the shirt off, and because, you know, get a show to have abs. And she throws her power, like her... Hadouken! It's weird, yeah, she hadoukens her soul into Freddy, and her face shows up, but then it shoots out of Freddy's chest into Alice, and Alice wakes up, and like screams, and then Rick's like, you okay? And she goes, we need to get to Kristen's house, as if they're going to be able to do anything. Like, right now! Yeah, they show up, and fucking... They see the flames, apparently... The roof. The, the roof. roof. The, the roof, roof is, is on, on fire. fire. And apparently, Elaine don't see shit. Yeah, you wouldn't notice that there is a room in your house on all of the fire? Well, maybe she finally found Did the... Did you also take your weird... Qu- no. Qualus? She found the bourbon for the dude. 
So oh, she was busy getting yeah. it in. I guess. And that's what was going on there. She's she's getting her some D. And then it's like, oh shit, my kid's burning. I should do something about that. And then they all show up and Kristen's melting and we're done here. And Kristen gets a funeral. Yep. And we see all, all the other headstones, <clears throat> Nancy's mm-hmm. headstone. And mm-hmm. Like, look at all of Freddie's victims. Yeah. Uh. So, Freddie is now... <sighs> I guess now stalking them because of Alice. Sort of, he's Moral. now he's kind of got a bit of the uh, the Jesse complex, where she brings people in because she doesn't know how to use the power. Right, so and she's she brings, accidentally yeah, doing it. She's bringing people in, so she goes, and uh, she's staying staying awake and watches the video. This is where we see the video of Kristen and shit like and that. And they have a like, fight. Like Rick's like, yeah, why Rick's are you like, watching? Why that? are you talking about all this Freddy shit? Like it's all bullshit. And she's like, I it was real. I saw the smoke. And he's like, whatever. Shut up. You're you're not crazy, and neither was she. Just let it go. Like stop. Because he's upset because his girlfriend his girlfriend is just dead. died. Yeah, like he's not he's not dealing with it well, and it's supposedly about some supernatural thing that he doesn't believe in. Right. He don't like this. So either way, we go to school. And she, this is where, you know, Alice f- hopefully finds the cigarettes. Otherwise, she's a moron and buys the cigarettes and has and lights it up before she realizes, hey, I don't smoke. Hopefully, you know. Although Tuesday does. Like, Alice, uh, Kristen Kristen does. did. That so, was the whole point. So she's got a little bit of Kristen in her now. Not realizing. Like, yeah, like, something's up. But, I mean, at the same time, you don't buy the cigarettes and that thing and it takes you this long before it occurs to you. Right. Hey, I don't smoke. No. Hopefully she did find them like the original script said. Sheila pops in. It's like, hey, I'm dead on my feet. Oh, we have the matching luggage, which was the line that Kristen said earlier. And it's like, oh my god, you saw him too. And she's like, saw who? I was cramming for the physics test. Ah, don't worry about it. And then she gives her, she shows her this um, machine that Sheila has made that is like a, some ultrasonic sound wave to stop bugs from going near her. Because again, Deb's afraid of bugs. And then... We're in class, and everybody's having their test. This is why I think they're twins, because Rick's in there, too. Yeah. And Alice is there, and she falls asleep. Cause blinky, she blinky. See that. She blinks, she's out. And then Sheila is writing her test, and then all of a sudden, her the word, the numbers on her math test fucking start swirling around and turns and says, um, learning is fun with Freddy. And she's like, the fuck is this? And then, Who the fuck is Freddy? And then her pen is dripping blood. So she wipes it off, and then her hand gets pulled down into it, and the thing, I guess it looks like the thing that she just made. That's the thing. Like, yeah. some robot arm, for no reason, yeah. pops out just and pops grabs out her and face. grabs her face and starts pulling and pulling and pulling, and then just lets go, because the man himself showed up. And he finally uses his gloves for something useful, well, and he's cutting an apple. Yeah, because he's now the teacher. Yeah, he's the teacher, and he's cutting the apple. He's peeling the apple, and he's like, hmm, because <laughs> it's funny cutting an apple. He's like the he's like the girl in all the salads ads who thinks salads are the funniest things ever. If you ever watch every, if you ever look at anything where a girl's eating a salad, she's laughing her ass off because apparently salads are, salads are hilarious, and this is clearly the same case. So he walks up and comes Uncle Creepy. Oh, <laughs> super creepy! Takes the hat off, fucking tosses it down rather slyly. The, the man, the man's trying to pick up his lady here, like, and he come just come here often. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that. Oh, Jesus, fucking puts the glove up to her her neck, her her like under her chin. Which, by the way, this was the hero glove. They couldn't find the other one, so it scraped underneath easy, her chin and fucking easy, Robert. Some blades there, some bleeding happened, and then he wiggles his tongue out at her because. We're not creeped out enough yet. And he locks Alice in at this point at her desk. Yeah, she can't Alice is trying to get up to do something, and then he locks it in. And she's fucking, like, trying to literally, like, wake up, wake up, God damn it, wake up. And she's not. And then Freddy's just like, want to suck face? And like, oh, ugh. And she goes, no. Mm. <laughs> this is awkward. So he does. Oh. And he sucks her that face. No, Freddy. In. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm. So anyway, he sucks her dry to the point where mm. she's like nothing. Oh yeah, uh, she's a husk. Yeah, she's a husk. And I do enjoy this part of it where he just sort of like he drop he like literally is done and then just drops her down. You flunk. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. And then just that's it. Yep, she wakes up and she has wakes a up massive and then heart is attack. having a a uh, asthma attack. Yeah. And and Alice tries to get her inhaler but then is pushed by a nothing. And she's like, didn't you see this? And it's like, clearly not. 
Like, you were asleep. <laughs>